As for the sujood of tilawa due to reciting Qur'an, then this remains a sunnah whether a person is reciting Qur'an inside the salah or outside the salah. If the imam, and he was giving a khutbah, and he recited a surah which contains sujood tilawa, then it is legislated for him in the middle of the khutbah to make a sujood tilawa, and also the people behind him, they make sujood tilawa. If the imam and he's leading the people in the, in the salah, if he goes down and makes sujood tilawa, the congregation behind him are also obligated to follow him and make sujood tilawa. And even a qari, a person who was reciting the Quran outside of the salah, and he came across an ayah which contained sujood tilawa, and he goes into sujood, I can follow him. So Sheikh Ibrahim, whilst he's driving his Mercedes 500S 2022, no. I've memorized it now. Uh, and anyway, he's listening to Taraweeh and the Imam Sheikh on the radio, Sudais. Sheikh Sudais, he goes into Sujood Tilawa. Does he also go into Sujood yeah. Sheikh Ibn Uthameen says, no, why? Because this is via the radio. But had he been in Mecca behind the Imam, then he makes Sujood Tilawa. Now, Ibrahim, yeah. if he was driving his Mercedes and he was reciting the Quran, and then he comes across an ayah which contains Sujood Tilawa, whilst he's driving, he can make sujood and that, that is by slightly lowering the head. Uh, brothers, just two quick points. Firstly, there's four or five minutes for the salah, so whoever needs to make wudu can make wudu. Second point, so we don't oppress Ibrahim and he doesn't make dua against the sheikh or the translator, he doesn't have a Mercedes. <laughs> so, well, like, he has a Ford now. So I don't want him to think that as even a translator, I oppressed him.